Hogwarts is like a maze. I suggest you follow the carpet if you want to get back to the common room. I suppose I'd best get some hair from Crab and Goyle. Good luck. I'll meet you by the common room later. Harry, Crab, Goyle and Malfoy are in the Great Hall. They've enrolled in the Dueling Club. I wonder who'll be teaching it? Let's hope it's not Lockhart. I've had enough of him for one day. Have you heard? Malfoy's in the Great Hall and he's challenging everybody to a duel. Yeah, and no one's beaten him yet. Why don't you go in and duel with him, Harry? I hear you're pretty good. Go on, Harry. I'm sure you can beat him. It'll be great to wipe that smile off his slimy Slytherin face. The great Harry Potter. Fancy a duel? I'm something of an expert. Go on, Harry. You can do it. Better watch out for the candles, Potter. They've got special jinxes in them. Trust me, you're going to need all the help you can get. Get ready. Duel. <laughs> makes you the winner, you've got another thing coming. Try this, Potter. Serpent Sortia. Oh, oh, oh.
Hissing furiously, the snake slithered towards Justin Finch Fletchley. Leave him alone, Harry shouted. At least, that was what he thought he'd shouted. When he looked up at Justin, he was met with an angry look. What do you think you're playing at? The snake was lying slumped on the floor, docile as a thick black garden hose. So why was Justin, and everybody else for that matter, regarding him with a look of horror? You're a parcel mouth, Harry. Why didn't you tell us? Harry didn't know what a parcel mouth was, so Ron told him. <laughs> you can talk to snakes, Harry! Hermione informed Harry that being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for, and how the whole school was now going to think that he, Harry Potter, was the heir of Slytherin, and therefore responsible for the attacks. Dumbledore wasn't in his office when Harry got there. It was a very interesting room, however, and nearby, Harry spotted the sorting hat. As he approached it, the hat spoke to him. You've been wondering whether I put you in the right house, but I stand by what I said before. You would have done well in Slytherin. Harry's heart plummeted. He told the hat he thought it was wrong. And then, a strange gagging noise behind him made him wheel around. Harry yelled in shock as the bird burst into flames, only to emerge from the fire more beautiful than it was before. Then the office door opened, and Dumbledore came in. Fawkes the Phoenix is really very handsome, isn't he, Harry? Harry nodded, still shocked by the sight of the bird bursting into flames. Dumbledore explained how phoenixes were fascinating creatures. They can carry immensely heavy loads, and they make highly faithful pets. Dumbledore went on to say that he didn't believe Harry was the attacker plaguing Hogwarts, and he asked if Harry had anything that he wanted to tell him. Harry thought of the disembodied voice he'd heard, and his growing dread that he was connected to Salazar Slytherin, but in the end, he didn't want to say anything about them. Now that everyone knows you're a parcel mouth, they've convinced you're the heir of Slytherin. You don't think it's me, do you? Of course not. There's no way you're the heir, Harry. Thanks. We need to finish the Polyjuice Potion and prove that Malfoy's the heir of Slytherin. That way we can clear your name. Ron, did you manage to get some hair from Crab and Goyle? Yes, I did. But I'm telling you, it wasn't easy. OK, I'm sure I've done everything right. Once you've drunk the potion, there won't be much time before we turn back. Now what? We each have some of the potion, add the hairs, and then drink it. I'm still not sure about this. Ready? Ready? As I'll ever be. One, two, three. Are you two all right? Yeah, unbelievable. Hermione, are you okay? Fine, I'm fine. Go on without me. Well, if you're sure, we'll meet you back here later. Hermione said that we may have some difficulty moving because Crab and Go are bigger than us. OK. I won't try jumping across any gap. We'd better get going before the effects of the Polyjuice Potion run out. We need to find out where the Slivering Common Room is. I hope we can find someone to follow. There's a Slivering now. Quick! Follow him and don't lose sight of him!
there you are. Have you two been pigging out in the Great Hall all this time? How did you know? People seem to think that Saint Potter, the Mudblood's friend, is the heir of Slytherin. I wish I knew who it really is. I could help them. You must have some idea who's behind it all. You know I haven't, Goyle. How many times do I have to tell you? But I know one thing. Last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a Mudblood died. So I bet it's only a matter of time before one of them is killed this time. I hope it's Granger. as throwing a book at me. Let's all throw books at Myrtle because she can't feel it. What a lovely game, I don't think. Here, why don't you have it? I'm glad we've changed back. I didn't like being crab one bit. I wonder where Hermione went. I hope nothing went wrong with her potion. 